15 years of research prepared Mayo Clinic to transplant its first larynx, commonly known as a voice box. Here, the transplant team is practicing microsurgery techniques developed through research, connecting the donor organ to nearly invisible blood vessels. The study of how to prevent organ rejection took more research, so the team also tested medicines called immunosuppressants. So being able to restore laryngeal function from a variety of different means. It regulates our ability to breathe, regulates our ability to swallow, and protects our airway when we swallow so food doesn't go down into our lungs. The procedure is actually a composite neck transplant. Along with the larynx, the team transplanted nearby organs and tissue, including the thyroid gland, pea-sized parathyroid glands, pharynx, also known as the throat, upper esophagus, upper trachea, and skin. It's a surgery with special challenges that is done through the strict human protection guidelines of a clinical trial. And so if you look at the immune environment, they're all going to have very different immune needs and immunosuppressive needs. The research team will follow the patient in his post-transplant care for the rest of his life. And so what we're looking to see is what levels of rejection, are there any levels of rejection of the transplanted larynx, how well is larynx functioning, what sort of quality of life has the patient restored with this transplant. Dr. Lott's team is working every day to understand the role of regenerative medicine and its effect on complex transplantation. So what regenerative medicine has to offer is the promise that we can regenerate the patient's own tissues, create a environment in the immune system that teaches the body to recognize the new organ as part of its own body. Mayo Clinic plans to perfect this research-informed surgery in larynx transplants over the next five years. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Susan Buckles.